Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading for the week of June 25th, 2018. This is the He Said, She Said spread. I've got Richard again with me. Hello. And we received such positive feedback that we've decided to do this on a weekly basis, so I hope you enjoy it. We're also offering personal spreads, uh, He Said, She Said, where we give you uh, both of our input. And uh, that'll be a 20 minute reading, so if you'd like that, please contact me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. The introductory rate is $35. So let's get along with your reading here, Scorpio. From Le Vampire, you've pulled the card of natural, authentic, real, organic. And from the Energy Oracle, you've pulled the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Now, it seems like you're getting back to something that is more organic feeling here. I get a feeling that there's an energy here of greater intimacy and it, it's really about nurturing closeness with others and yourself it's about being open to emotional intimacy and being ready to receive the affection and camaraderie of the resonant souls around you so it seems like there's some really nice energy around you at the moment and i get the sense here that you're becoming closer in some way. So let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. <coughs> and don't forget to check out my channel for the in-depth readings. I do those twice a month. So please check me out there for the more in-depth relationship readings. So let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. This card signifies your partner's energy, what your partner brings to the table, your partner's flaws, what your partner thinks of you, what you think of your partner, the strengths of this relationship, followed by the weaknesses, the chance of the relationship succeeding, followed by the, or crossed by any roadblock, and the potential outcome. So Scorpio, your partner's energy is the hanged man so there's an energy here of sacrifice of letting go there seems to be well let, let's get some more energy here because the hanged man it really can go a, 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 such a, a lot of ways that we we need some more information of course i mean being stuck too it could potentially be that so mm. let's have a look and see what your partner brings to the table the Ace of Pentacles. So it's something here that is potential for long-lasting commitment. Real, real, um, real Stay. practical. Staying power, oh, right? right? Mm -hmm. Seems like there is an energy here of something that could be potentially really productive yeah. and... A uh, practical new beginning. A practical new beginning. Because when we, what we always say is the Ace of Cups can run out, the Ace of Wands can fizzle out, but with the Ace of Pentacles, it's it's very grounded, very solid foundation. Now let's have a look and see what the flaws are of your partner. With the Three of Cups here, there, there could be a potential here for a bit too much overindulgence, I feel. Mm, possibly interacting with third parties as well. It could also be that. So I get the energy here now of a changing in perspective mm. because i get these cards here where someone perhaps was a bit overindulgent, overindulgent i picked that up as whatever that means to you whether it's a third party or whether it's too much drinking partying socializing i feel that this person is now wanting to be more real something that's more real and organic here and, and I feel that that's the case with this Ace of Pentacles as well. So let's have a look and see what your partner thinks of you, Scorpio. And remember, the energies can go vice versa, so this may resonate the other way around. Now, they think of you as the Page of Swords, so they may feel that you are being very clear and direct with some kind of 
communication here. It may be about this overindulgence. Yeah, it could be a little bit harsh as well, possibly. I picked that up as well. Now let's see what you think of your partner, Scorpio. So if the two of cups in reverse, you feel that there's a, a lack of harmony and a imbalance here. There seems to be something not gelling, maybe on two, feeling like you're on two different pages. It's probably got a lot to do with the overindulgence. So let's have a look and see what the strengths are here. And with judgment, I get a card of rebirth. Uh, I feel like you're both wanting a renewal yeah. here. I think that relates to what you said about the hanged man earlier as well. A changing perspective mm -hmm. here. Whereas once there was a very much a focus on this overindulgence, whether that is a third party or, or too much uh, drink or uh, partying, I feel that now there is a re rebirth or renewal here and wanting to be more uh, intimately connected. But I think your partner still has work to do because you still think of them as, as being perhaps a bit, uh, not bringing balance to a relationship. Right. So let's have a look at the weaknesses, Scorpio. And you have the lovers card. So again, I'm picking I'm picking this up as maybe a bit too much indulgence in, uh, let, let's say, uh, lust. Yeah, a bit of hedonism. Yeah, that's what I get with that card is hedonism. So let's have a look and see what the potential is for this relationship. We have the five of swords in reverse crossed by the ace of cups in reverse. So I feel with the five of swords in reverse, it's a card of... Coming through a struggle, a power, a power struggle, I feel, or feeling like you're defeated in some way, but wanting to... It's really an energy of wanting to, to put the work in. It's wanting to make amends after a battle here, after a period of struggle and strife. It's really trying to an energy here of being able to to amend the situation and with the ace of cups in reverse as the roadblock it seems to suggest that there may be a disillusionment when it comes to love with this relationship a delay to a new beginning it could also be a delay as well so let's have a look at the outcome, Scorpio. I have the world in reverse, so again I'm picking this up as something is not able to be completed out. There's an energy of stalled completion, a lack of closure. Let's get another card on this world in reverse for Scorpio, please. What does Scorpio need to know with this world in reverse. What is this? Oh, all right. Okay. And we have the six of wands in reverse and the empress in reverse. So it seems like there is a, a lack of success here, Scorpio. It seems like your, I'm picking this up as your energy, but it can go vice versa. I feel like you are not receiving what you thought you would get out of this i get that you want to be to have something that is secure you want to feel like you are being nurtured and um, that you are able to uh, nurture others as well and i did get that with the second chakra card as well but you may feel like you are I'm defeated i guess defeated or or even that you need to put more work in to complete this because the six of wands in reverse can simply say that success is still possible but there's still work that needs to be put in before you get that victory before you see that success well that's how it looks for you scorpio it looks like there's going to be a lot of hard work that needs to be put in and some some roadblocks to do with some overindulgence that needs to be overcome. 
That's right. But with the Five of Swords as an indicator of the potential of this relationship, there is potential here because it is overcoming an obstacle. So uh, let's just look at these cards again because I feel that it's important with these oracle cards because I, I get the sense that for you Scorpio, either you or the other person, because the energies can go vice versa, there's a movement away from this overindulgence. I feel it's it could potentially be sexual here with this lover's card but I feel that there is a change here after someone has been told the truth I feel about how they're feeling about this situation maybe given some kind of harsh communication regarding this multiple or third party situation down here and now I, I feel like they're after the battle, after that, I feel it's an argument. I'm picking up the page of swords and the five of swords in reverse as, a, as an argument having occurred. But I feel that this is picking up the pieces after that battle. There is renewal here. And I don't feel that there is a closure here of this relationship. I feel like there's still work to do before you can achieve success here and start feeling nurtured and, and feel like this relationship is back on the right track. But I do get the sense here that whatever you have here, Scorpio, is real, it's organic, it, it's an authentic relationship. And I feel like it's moving in the right direction. It's just that we need to turn this Ace of Cups back up and get this back on the right track, I feel. There's promise. There is promise. So let's get another, let's get a Romance Angels card for Scorpio on this reading. See if we can get some clarification for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to hear? And remember to please check out my in-depth readings. I do those twice a month on my channel. And we have chemistry. So there is attraction here. It may be that this person is attracted to something here. I get that with these uh, Three of Cups and this Lover's card as the flaws and the weakness. It seems that there's an emphasis on lust, lust attractions here. But the focus, I feel, has a potential, I feel, for a change in perspective to something that's more real, more organic, and that's going to be... Uh, long-lasting. Long-lasting. And practical. And practical. So I'm going to leave it there for you, Scorpio, and I wish you all the best with this. Please check out our uh, He Said, She Said personal spread. So email us, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, and I'll give you all the information. The introductory rate is $35 for a 20 minute reading and we'll both give you our insight on your relationship. And uh, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you Scorpio, I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, Bye Scorpio.